Mr. President, Club Captain, ladies and gentlemen, can you hear me in the back? Yes. Yes. Right. We're front row. I'm very, very happy that uh, no suit was served tonight. <laughs> because otherwise, Jimmy Brun would not have been coherent. In fact, he would have been completely out of it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is an absolute privilege to be here tonight to celebrate your 30th anniversary. When we first started the Exiles way back in 1968, I never foresaw that there would be a bunch of characters like yourself hopping about on the field trying to play rugby. <laughs> <laughs> when I last spoke to the gathering of some sort of significant audience was at your 25th anniversary. And I think I finished by the words, nothing has changed. And I stick to those words today. <laughs> nothing has changed. <laughs> it's magnificent to see a bunch of characters from all over the world pulling their weight, literally. <laughs> I was inspired by Roy McFarlane. <laughs> Having a quick look, I couldn't help it. What have you been pulling, Roy? Now, 30 years is, is a long time, and during 30 years, a lot of things happen in life. And I think that when you look at yourself and you think you're jolly happy, you're playing the game as it should be, playing on the field, that suddenly 30 years pass. And what I feel is very much at the heart of human endeavor, playing hard, and enjoy yourself hard, because those times will never, ever come back again. Oh. You think of that, and you will have a fabulous future. I commend you on your club captain, whom I feel has done a fantastic job to revive what I think, perhaps, was an up and down situation. Or as Percy Hannah would say, the thing in our Yeah. I thank you for inviting the old boys, the real old boys, like Roy, <laughs> David Bryce, Neil Spass. <laughs> but I must, I must, I must commend one person whom I feel was the epitome, the epitome of an exile. No, not Jimmy. Not Percy Hammer.
but you're also a very, very good friend. On a closing note, uh, I'd just like to say that, uh, and you're all aware, obviously, of the tragic circumstances which I had all years ago. Well, there's one little legend that leads to mind, and I think it's very pertinent to the exiles. Richard was a fairly good skier, and he stood on the top of the mountain. It was four o'clock in the afternoon, and the darkness had set in, and the ice was black, and the lads, who were all Swiss, said, Richard, we've taken the cable car down the mountain, because it's too dark, the ice is black, and it's too dangerous. And they all went to the cable car. Richard stood at the edge of the mountain, and they said, come on, Richard, get to the cable car. And he said, chaps, we're not here for a long time, but for a good time. And I hope these hours will live in that spirit. Yeah, they are. <laughs>